Let's talk about uh, a kind of an offshoot story from the Edward Snowden NSA leaks, which is an interesting article in The New York Times, which outlines how the US Postal Service essentially logs people's mail for law enforcement. And there's an individual named Leslie James Pickering who noticed that there was something weird that came in his mail a couple of months ago. It was a handwritten card. It was apparently delivered by mistake, and it was instructions for the Postal Service to pay attention to letters and packages going to his home. And it said, show all mail to supervisor for copying prior to going out on the street. And it included Pickering's name, address and the type of mail that needed to be monitored. Now, Mr. Pickering and his wife own a small uh, bookstore in Buffalo, New York. About a decade ago, he was a spokesman for the Earth Liberation Front, which is one of these kind of radical eco environmental groups that are by some labeled eco terrorists. So that presumably is why he got on the radar in the first place of federal authorities for whatever reason. It doesn't seem as invasive to people when you say to them, you realize that for all of the electronic surveillance that exists and the Edward Snowden stuff and all of that, US mail has been and could easily be monitored without you knowing forever. But for some reason, people find that less invasive and are less outraged by it. And I'm not totally sure I know why that is. Yeah, it's also something that's about to disappear. And I find it kind of funny that the government is now asking the U.S. Postal Service to do this amidst all their struggles to uh, to stay afloat. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe it's just that people don't really think about it anymore or that they assume people aren't really using that type of mail for anything confidential or um, important. Yeah, I, I mean, that's a, that's an interesting point, because it's like you're, you're doing most of your urgent stuff via electronic means. And for me lately, if I really have something important that's coming to me in the mail, it's usually FedEx or UPS overnight. It's not really coming in the regular mail system. There's right. one other thing, though. Maybe people realize that the Postal Service is a federal agency, right? I mean, it's under the um, it's under the executive branch. It's operated by the Postal Board of Governors that's appointed by the president. Maybe that's why people say, well, OK, I mean, it's kind of part of the government in a way, even though the reality is, is that it operates essentially independently. I don't know. But but uh, I think that it, it is interesting to me, this kind of double standard that uh, that does exist there today on the bonus show. What do we have coming up on the bonus show today? I know that it's a very, very good bonus show. Let me take a look at my notes here. We have on the bonus show. Um, what do we have for whatever reason? I'm, I'm missing that information. Here it is. Day one HD. All right. Well, things are a little bit mixed up. We'll be talking about the NFL considering a ban on academically ineligible players. We'll talk about a condition which makes audio and video well, really voice and sight, I guess, as it as it pertains to humans out of sync. And we will also talk about bone marrow transplants, which themselves carry significant risks, appearing to remove HIV from two different men. How do you get the bonus show? Very easy. David dot com slash membership. But we also have the wow special because it is day one of high definition. I thought that would excite a lot of people, Lewis. It would get people wanting to sign up for membership. So we have extended it for a couple more days. David dot com slash wow. You get 10 percent. The David Pakman show at David dot com.